y'all, this is Jason Michelle with Echo Nesters, and we're here with Bad Betty. Bad Betty, as you know, is our 2022 Winnebago Echo. You're very familiar with this if you have an Echo. What's hiding behind here is the Thetford cassette toilet. And when we pop this open, if you have a Revel or other RVs that happen to have the Thetford C220 cassette, you'll know how awesome these are, how easy they are to clean and maintain. And if you've been following along with us, one of the other things that you'll know is how in one of our other videos that we demonstrated and shared a link to all the moving parts, things that you can maintain, everything from where the blade is to the seal, um, also where our float is, the importance of maintaining our float, the seal there as well, the float being again how it measures whether it's full or not. And then also, if you will, our vent, and if you will, the absorbing foam piece there. And also, you'll probably remember how we talked about we have a measuring cup built in right here. That's all in our other videos. So what are we talking about today with Tuesday's Tips with Jason and Michelle with Echo Nesters? Well, if you pan over here, you're going to see something that looks probably pretty familiar to you, which is a toilet scrub brush. And you're probably thinking, well, I'm not going to really need a tip on how to clean the inside of my toilet, am I, Jason? Well, obviously, obviously, no. It's a little cold out here, so I apologize for my choppy words. I'll throw these gloves on. But I was out here, and I was emptying the cassette toilet and doing some maintenance and cleaning and just kind of doing what we all do, typically. And I thought to myself, after I opened up the blade here and I did a little visual inspection, that what I saw in there, even after cleaning and rinsing, troubled me. We'll use that word. So I went and grabbed our little mix of Fabuloso. It just is kind of low setting. And I thought to myself, how do I get down in there? And I definitely was not interested with or without a glove of going deep into that area. So I thought, I wonder if a toilet scrub brush would work. Oh, and by the way, this is actually an Ikea one. I think these are just a couple bucks at Ikea if I remember. So I went ahead and put some of my solution in. I grabbed the hose and you want to make sure you put your hand over there with your gloves because getting back spray, I, I appreciate that. Might not be your favorite <laughs> flavor of the day. So, you can take out your little scrub brush, and if you notice, this particular IKEA one just happens to fit nicely in there. It does a nice little job of scrubbing. You can get a little visual inspection in there. You can put it back in your little retaining cup, and you can put this close the blade. Put this back on, do a little sloshing, which again, we talked about the importance of that in our other video, not rapidly shaking it because we don't want to damage the float. Sloshing, you can get back in there, grab the brush, kind of maintain it. And again, get it to your satisfaction and liking. Now, you might be asking yourself, why would I want to do that? Well, if you can think for a while that some film and some unpleasant items might begin to build up in there, which also attribute to odor, that would be one more step in reducing order besides the chemicals and the other things that we've been doing along the way. But before I close, as you're looking in here and you're kind of wiping down and maintaining, one of the things that I wanted to re recommend slash remind you of is where, let's say, um, waste is dropped into our cassette toilet, it's always a good idea to double check in there and just do a nice thorough wipe down. The other thing is you'll see that we have some wiring harness connectors and we also got some plumbing fittings, et cetera, et cetera. It's just always good to take a peek at that, make sure they're well and good. And then last but not least, the rubber gasket seals that go around any and all compartments, whether they're storage or where the cassette toilet is held. Inspect those gaskets. There are lubricants that you can put on these to maintain them and keep them pliable and flexible. But it is very, very important for you just to do a visual inspection because this is what protects the outside elements, debris, road film, et cetera from contaminating or, if you will, getting into the inside. So I hope that's helpful. Again, nothing too crazy and fancy here with uh, Tips on Tuesday or Tuesday's Tips with Jason Michelle with Echo Nesters. But again, for just a couple bucks, you can get the inside of uh, your Thetford cassette toilet nice and shiny, pretty, and let's say presentable. <laughs> Take care and thanks for subscribing. We'll have uh, links um, and everything that we have there. Every Tuesday, we're going to try to put something together. We'd appreciate if there's some things that you want to learn and we're capable of getting the information on. We're going to bring it to the table and share with you. If you've got some ideas and you'd like to see us present them, just put them down there. Contact me. Love it. Take care. And thanks for joining us.